welcome to this technical English video. Today we're going to see what is a differential and which are its basic parts. But first of all, you have to remember something really important, and it is to believe in yourself and anything will be possible. Well, you maybe are thinking about what is a differential, and maybe you will think that it is something common in a truck. But why it is important and what is a differential? Well, the differential matters because it is essential to allowing your vehicle to turn. The outer wheels must spin faster than the inner wheels. This is a device allowing its output to spin at a different speed. This function provides proportional revolution per minute between the left and the right wheels. Differential has three important jobs. The number one is to aim the engine power at the wheels, to act as a final gear reduction in the vehicle, slowing the rotational speed of the transmission one final time before it hits the wheels. And of course, number three, it is to transmit the power to the wheels while allowing them to rotate at different speeds. Well, there are different types of differentials. The three common types are the open differential, that is the most common design. The second is the locking differential, that allow the wheels to spin at, different, at the same speed when they are locked. It happens mostly in trucks. And the third is the limited slip, that is similar to an open differential, but it has a clutch system inside. The basic parts of a differential are, as you can see here, the ring gear. It is a balance in dividing the torque between the two driving wheels while permitting one to turn faster than the other when rounding corners. Another important part is the pinion gear. It is located at the end of the drive shaft, engaged with the ring gear which then transmit power to both axles through another set of gears. The differential pinion provides additional reduction and allows the opposite axle to become engaged. The third part is this one, the differential case. It manages the power being sent out to each of the drive wheels. Number four, the thrust washer. As you can see here, this is normally simple anchored to prevent rotation thereof. The planetary gears, they are to avoid teeth, interface and undercut. The spider or cross, it is a part of a differential gear mechanism, which is a gear train with three shafts that has a property that the rotational speed of one shaft is the average of the speeds of the others. And finally, we have the housing. It is this one here, the big one, and it is its function is to protect all the parts that were told before. Let's practice the differential vocabulary. Number one, differential. Repeat after me, differential. Pay attention to the double F, differential. This ending T I A L shall differential. Number two, allowing. Repeat allowing. Number three, wheels. Pay attention to the double E. Here sounds like e. okay. Wheels. Number four, engine. Please don't say engine. It is engine. Remember that you don't have to pronounce the letter E at the end of the words. Engine. Number five, torque. Torque. Remember, you don't have to say the letter E at the end of the word. Number six, revolutions per minute. You commonly will find it as R and M. That means revolutions per minute. Number seven, gear. Gear. Number eight, jobs. Pay attention. Don't say hover. 
please job. Repeat, job. Number nine, final. Final. Number ten, cross. Cross. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next video.